everyone, it's Kidu and it's pajama time and in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Fire Emblem Three Houses Warfare Edition Special Edition. I'm really excited. I'm sorry this is a little late. I know lots of people already have their videos up. Unfortunately I had to wait for mine to come in. So it is finally here and I can finally unbox it. So this is what it looks like. It has gold embossed lettering and um, the logo here. And here's what the side looks like. And the back. Look at this art. It's so pretty. Ugh. Oh, it's this way. <laughs> I can't see this backwards on my iPad. Yeah, so I'm really excited. Unfortunately, um, if you have watched my channel before, you might have heard me talk about disliking a specific material. Um, it's like this really soft, fuzzy, kind of satiny material. I don't know what to call it. They use it a lot in books, so if you're a reader, you might know what I'm talking about. It's very soft. You can kind of see the texture. It's like matte, but it feels very soft. Almost fuzzy, but not like fabric fuzzy. It's really hard to explain. Um, I really dislike that material because it actually degrades over time. Um, a lot of the books I own have literally just been sitting on my shelf like I haven't even read them and all of this material has just like slowly come off and I don't know why and it leaves like a sticky residue underneath. It's really bizarre so I really wish they hadn't done that for a special edition because that means that this box will eventually degrade by itself even if you probably store it nicely. Eventually I feel like it's probably, I mean it might be okay if you keep it in the plastic which I might end up doing um, but I know even the book inside and everything is the same material so I am worried about that slowly degrading over time. Sorry about that whole rant. Um, I did order from EB Games, so I am in Canada, so I ordered from EB Games, and the exclusive bonus you get from ordering there is this print right here. Um, the print is the same material, which means, like, you're really, really gonna wanna frame it if you do have this print, or you're gonna wanna store it somehow because dust doesn't agree well with this material either, so it just kinda, like, the dust sticks on it and collects on it. And the dust might also have something to do with uh, it degrading faster. I'm not 100% sure how this material works. If anybody knows what this material is called, if you know what I'm talking about, please let me know. So this is the one side of the print, and the other side of the print is this. A little disappointed they needed to put like the Switch logo and the um, teen rating on the side. I thought that's unnecessary for a print, but whatever. So we have the map here, which is nice. And then, of course, you have this mural here. I am a little sad that this isn't the piece with the three nobles, um, like the three house leaders on it, like you've seen, because I believe this is part of that, but I think it's like longer or something, or it's a similar art piece. Anyways, that is this. This is very nice, but of course it is that material that I despise. I just realized you can see boxes of stuff in the background and my laundry basket. You're just gonna have to enjoy those, or I could make you look away. <laughs> so, we're gonna jump into this. I'm gonna cut this open. I've been wanting to play it for such a long time. I've been, like, literally following the game and every bit of information that has come out since the announcement date, and I'm losing my mind that it's finally out, and one of my best friends has been able to play it and has been playing it and, like, telling me a few things, and I'm like, no. <laughs> she's gonna be ahead of me I my whole plan was to start playing it on like release day but yeah that didn't that didn't pan out alrighty so now that it is open and unfortunately I've been to the top of it because that is just how it goes as you can see I fucking hate boxes you know so I guess it slides out this way And how it slid out is the art book is on the bottom and then there's this top tray here. So this top tray is just a like black cardboard like material. And then here we have the soundtrack itself. 
and I will open that up in a moment. This is the everything in this freaking thing is made of that material and I want to scream. I hate that material. So this is the outside of the calendar. And of course it is spot gloss, which is really nice. I love spot gloss, but not a huge fan of this fuzzy material. Uh, here is the calendar itself for 2020, which is nice. It actually has um, the A person, and I believe it has everyone's birth dates, which is really awesome. Oh yay, it's Gilbert's birthday in the first month, and Ingrid's birthday. So here we have that, and then on each side or on the back side of that, there's gonna be like a mural or a piece of art there. And what's nice too is these are very thick. So. Sorry, I'd like to go through all of these to show you guys. If you're not interested in seeing the entire calendar, you can just skip on forward. I'm not sure how far. Sorry, isn't Mir Seteth, like, really handsome? Is it just me? Or is he, like, really handsome? Because... <laughs> I have a type. <laughs> We're not gonna go into it. Um, but yeah, here's the next piece. I wish it would focus on it. Please tell me why she's not a buy option. Why isn't she a buy option? Can I please romance Catherine? Let me romance Catherine, please. I am angry. I am angry. You know what's funny is they have her here, but her birthday's not even this month. I don't even know if their birthdays are on this or if it's only, um, it might only be the students. And we're going to find out whose birthday is the same month as me because I want to know. These are very religious pieces, aren't they? I haven't really been looking at all of them as we go. There's a, there's deer in this one. Is that something? I don't know. Golden deer? I don't know. I can't wait to play this game. And I'm super mad that there's already, like, all the endings are already found out. And I'm just, like, sad. Very sad. Got Sylvain in August, which is the verdant, verdant rain moon. Very intriguing. Is this just like the Bible? What is this? The flood? <laughs> My goodness. Oh, it's the little sister. I forget her name. But she's very cute. She's a lot of hair. Sorry I'm not talking too much while I flip through these. I'm just kind of going through them. There's... Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. No. None of my favorite characters are ever... Like, I never get a nice picture or, like, a character I like on the month of my birth. But I have gotten Claude. And I have not talked about this game on this channel at all. But just so you're aware, just so you're aware, I'm coming for him. I am going Golden Deer, and I am coming for Claude, okay? Like, I have, since the moment they showed the first trailer, I was like, that man. And then they showed his time skip, and I'm like, he grew facial hair. Oh, everything about him is, like, aimed to me, okay? Mm, okay? He just turns into my type, like, get out. Anyways, sorry slight freaking out. Oh, Linhart. Okay. So Marianne and Linhart have birthdays in November. November. 
Red Wolf Moon. Ooh, sick! Like, this game is just aiming for me. I got Wolf in the title and Moon. We got Lynn Hearts hanging out here, who's one of the bisexual characters, like the only decent bisexual character. Sorry. I mean, Eloise, or whatever his name is, isn't awful, but like, Gilbert, come on. Gilbert? Gilbert. Gilbert. Get out. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah. Okay, that's exciting. That makes me happy. That's cool. That's fun. That's real fun. Claude is in November. It's for my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Dimitri gets December. Here's this one. Doo, doo, doo. I'm also super excited to see Dimitri's um, root and see what happens with that. Because, like, what's going on? What's What's going on? What happened to him? I want to know. That poor boy. <laughs> Try to recruit as many students as I can, and then I'll do um, Blue Lions next. That's my plan. <sighs> and then I'll probably play as a male character uh, for my last playthrough, which will be uh, Red, Red, Red Eagles. I feel like everybody is doing that. Which will be the Black Eagles. So that's when I will play male Byleth, I believe. Uh, just, just so I can actually romance, like, I want to romance, I gotta romance the two lords, and you can only do it if you're a girl, so I have to play the girl character for the first two roots, which is fine, um, I'm gonna romance the girls too, but the only problem that makes me sad is that a lot of the bisexual characters are in the Black Eagle's house, which in my opinion seems very unbalanced, and I think if you're gonna have Edelgard as a bisexual character, you should also have Claude as a bisexual character, because that is such a missed opportunity, he is... A bisexual man and you can fight me okay fight me that is the way it is um anyways ignore me ranting i will open up the soundtrack now Alrighty. so now that that plastic is off this is just a cardboard really it's it's nothing nothing fancy but it is glossy on the emblem there and here we will open. It also has something on the spine. There you go. Kind of wish it was a little straighter. Mine's a little bent. Um, but here we open it up. Here we have the track list and some art of the Garrick Mock Monastery. Um, it has 33 tracks, which is pretty good for a soundtrack that they included in um, a game special edition. Normally they only include like mini soundtracks, which I always dislike although I do still hope and they probably will because they've done it for their other recent games that they release um like the full soundtrack of it and then sell that one they probably will I assume they're going to uh so yes I'm very excited that they did include one that does have quite a few tracks it probably has the heavy hitters um uh, but yeah it'll be nice when they release the other ones and this is what the disc looks like There's a piece, I thought that was like a scratch or something. It's a piece of plastic. I got super scared for a moment. <laughs> but yeah, that's what that looks like. And then we'll take the disc out. And then underneath is just the rest of the art for the Garrick Mock Monastery. Very nice. And like, gonna be honest, I'm fully into this Harry Potter vibe they're going for. Like, I ain't against it whatsoever. I'm here. I am here for it, okay? Um, unfortunately, my soundtrack has, like, a little nick on the side, but it's okay. We'll just, we'll just, like, push it down and then pretend we never seen it. Oh, I also didn't show you, like, this is how it is packaged. So, it was the soundtrack, the calendar is in here. And then here we have the steel book, so I'm going to pull that out next. Here is the steel book. The art, okay, personally, I think the North American and the European steel book, which is this one here, looks nicer than the Japanese one. Um, I think it's really, really pretty. Like, I love this design. I love this, like, what do you call this? Another mural? What, what do you call this? I don't know. But then here we have it all cracked and like flaked off and we have this emblem peeking through the back. Like if this isn't foreshadowing for something, I don't know what is. Like that's clearly foreshadowing. Here's the spine here. So it's very hard to show because it is glossy as heck. 
I don't even want to touch it because it's so nice. I don't even want to open this because it was so nice, okay? Like, I don't want to open it at all. Stressing me out. And then on the inside, we actually have the art um, for the Japanese steel book has this art and this piece here as well is actually on the box of the case or on the outer box as well so there's that um but yeah it's nice that we at least get the art for the Japanese one on the inside and I did watch an unboxing for the Japanese version and the same thing with the Japanese version they have this art on the inside of their box and this art on the outside. And then of course here we have the game cartridge there. I don't want to touch this steel book. I don't want to muck it up with my fingerprints. Of course, just the standard game. But it's so pretty. Like, that's so nice. Um, I don't know what to do though. Because like I don't want it on my wall. Because I don't want it to get damaged. Ooh, actually I didn't realize. Um, parts of this are like matte or something like you can when you rub your finger along it you can feel the difference in texture here but yeah so that's real cool um i am a little upset that it's not the same what they did in europe and japan in europe and japan they received the steel book but they also received a standard copy of the game um, inside the case alongside it so they had the steel book which was empty and then beside it they had a sealed copy of the standard game so you could keep the steel book but you also get the art for the normal case uh, I was upset that of course North America <laughs> does not get that option we only got the steel book and I really would have liked to have the art for the case despite people complaining about the art I just wanted to have it as well um, so I'm probably eventually gonna buy like a second copy of the game just so I have uh, the the regular case as well yeah and then here is the art book here um I already know that this part of the art book is going to be that same material so that's a sad thing for me whoa all right sorry that took way longer than it should have um I was trying to take it off carefully so that I could repackage this after um it looks like the back of my art book actually has some like weird spots on it um, I'm gonna try to clean them off really quick and I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, so I did manage to get it off, thank goodness. Um, it did leave a little bit of a streakiness, but the, like, weird, shiny, nasty parts are off now. Um, that is another reason I dislike this material greatly. Like, I don't even know if you can see how, like, soft it looks. And it, like, it feels nice, but it's not nice. Okay, people can tell you it feels nice, but what they don't know is that it's nasty later on. So here's the spine. That is backwards. There's the spine. Here's the front cover. Um, I am, see, and it also like is rubbed off in certain areas. Um, that just also happens as time goes by. You could leave it in a thing and that'll happen. Um, but this is, yes, this is the front this part of the book is like a rougher material as you can hear and then it has the gold embossed lettering and that outline there this is the back the back has the like cracked version I love that they made it a hardcover I'm very very happy with that I much prefer hardcover books the Japanese edition did come with a soft cover book which is kind of meh in my opinion, um, but at least you still get the art book. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure the art is going to be the same in both of them. It might be arranged a little differently, but I feel like it's going to be the same. Don't take my word for it. If you guys do want like a complete full flip through of this book, I will do that. I just require you to let me know in the comments below. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a way to film it right now with my iPad set up. It's just not happening. Uh, but if you guys would like a full flip, flip through, please comment, let me know, and I'll try to get one done in um, September or October when I get my new phone. And then once I do that, I'll do the full flip through for you guys, and I'll be able to have it set up, and it'll be good, and we'll we'll get we'll get it done. I don't know why it's so bright, but yeah, I really wish they would have done Byleth's like Vimo Byleth's outfit just. Just the exact same version as Male by Leth. Like, I don't know why they changed it to this. Although I do love this artist. This is an artist that I love. Um, that was repetitive. 
She did the art for uh, Lamento, which is my favorite visual novel. Uh, and she did it for Togeno no Chi, which are two BL uh, visual novels. So if you guys are interested in those, I talk a lot about those on my channel. Um, so yes, she does that. And she also does the art for Captive Prince, which is my favorite novel series ever. Um, there's a Japanese translation for the books. And they have, they're technically light novels in Japan. And she does the art for them as well, which is like so good. So good. So yeah, this is a little sneak peek into what the book is. It has character, um, character, what do you call it? Ske sketch, concept, art, jeez, jeez. Concept, art, there's my boy Claude. And it has all of their heights and then each of the characters in the houses. Um, and then it goes into other characters as well. And then it goes, I believe there's weapons in here. More characters. I'm not going to show you all of it because we'll leave that for the flip through. And I love these in-between papers are really, really nice. They do, they're like rice paper is I think what it's called. I never really know what it's called. Where it's like that see-through kind of like transparent-y thin paper. Whatever. So that's really nice. Um, I know we've got some villains in here. They've got some of the monsters and the creatures, which is real awesome. And and here, yeah, it has like the armor and it has weapons and such like that, which is real cool. And then we have some concept art for ooh, the Garrick Mock Monastery and different backgrounds and such. So if you would like a full flip through, please let me know. It'll just take too long right now and I don't feel like trying to manage my time at the moment. So yeah, that is, that is, that is the special edition. That's everything. That's everything comes with. What the fuck's my hair doing? That's everything. Also, now it's really dark. So, yeah, that's it. I would really love to have the regular, like, book. Also, I love the idea that um, the European one came with a USB that has the soundtrack on it instead of a CD. Like, I still like the CD. Like, I'm not going to complain. Would have been cool to get that. Also, the calendar is neat. I do like that it has all the birthdays. I didn't realize it had all the birthdays. Originally, I was complaining about the calendar because I was like, I don't want a calendar. Give me the pin set instead. But after seeing what the pin set looks like and seeing what the calendar has in it with all the birthdays, I actually don't mind. I kind of like the calendar more than the pin set now. I think if the pin set looked a little nicer, um, I'd be more inclined to like that one instead. The idea of a pin set sounds nicer. I'm rambling. Anyways, this is a very long unboxing for something that doesn't have that many items. I've just been talking a lot. Um, but I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I haven't been super, like, reliable on my channel lately or consistent with my... I'm sorry, I cracked my finger. Consistent with my uploads. I'm trying really hard to get back and I, sh I have lots of stuff coming in because things are coming out so be looking forward to more videos in the near future and i'll link all my social media in the description below if you guys want to take a look at that and i'll also link my affiliate links through cg japan and tokyo otaku mode if you purchase anything through those links i get a small commission thank you guys so much to those of you who've done it before i really really appreciate it and to those of you doing it in the future thank you thank you thank you it really helps me out um but yeah that is pretty much all check out the links in the description below Come add me on my figure collection. You can see what things I am buying or pre-ordering. So you can see what videos I will be making in the future. And also talk to me about figures. Um, but yeah. So that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.